Alright guys, it is here. You guys have been asking for it. The 2014 I'llPumpYouUp.com Mr. Olympia Review. This year, like last year, we're going to put all the competitors up on your screen. We're going to be the judges. I'm going to detail and judge and review every single physique in the Mr. Olympia. Then, wait for it, here comes the good part. We're going to take Phil Heath and Kai Green and we're going to use their photos and do comparison shots. We are going to detail every single pose they were in. Almost every single pose, all right? This is going to be exciting because I'm going to let you know, in my opinion, just my two cents, who I thought should have won the Mr. Olympia. Mr. Olympia. Was it Phil Heath? Was it Kai Green? I don't know. Maybe it was Dennis Wolf. Check this out. This year's Mr. Olympia was kind of, it's kind of funny, man. They tried to throw in a little bit of extra little excitement for all the fans. For instance, they had a press conference. Phil Heath and Kai Green got in it, man. I mean, let's be serious. I mean, haven't you learned from last year what you did? <laughs> Write that four time on Sunday. I just hope it's going to be really good. It's going to feel real nice. You're going to retire. Retire? Wow. <laughs> this is wonderful. Thank you, everyone, for coming out and supporting us today. This is really, we're going to show you how talk is so cheap. It's so cheap. The past is the past. And we need to respect what was done in the past because it's already moving. Phil, give me three facts as to why Kai can't beat you on stage. 2011, 2012, 2012. They got all in it. They had a heated argument, talking smack back and forth. I mean, check this picture out. Look at this picture. Look at Phil Heath. See that face? That, that's not a happy face. That's an I'm heated face. And you know, to be honest with you, I could tell it was staged. I could tell it was clearly staged. It was a publicity stunt to basically try to draw more fans and, you know, draw more advertisers, whatever you want to say. It was a publicity stunt. Actually, George Farah, Kai Green's trainer, confirmed later, about a week later, that, yeah, it was staged. It was definitely, from this point, the Kai Green, Phil Heath show. In other news this year, Kai Green's head got huge. And this dude has got striations and veins and overlapping muscle all over this dude's dome. I mean, his head barely even fit in the hoodie, bro. Another drama publicity stunt was during the contest. Phil and Kai, they were just getting too close. I think Phil Heath actually kind of put his elbow on Kai. Kai got mad got aggravated, got irritated, went right up in Phil Heath's face. They had to call a security guard. The head judge was yelling, guys, back up, back up, give each other some room, blah, blah, blah. Security guard came. They put Dennis Wolf in the middle. In the muscle from the shoulders Spread to out, the gentlemen. chest. Hey. Oh, oh. Wow. Here we go. Spread out. Spread out. Who wants to break up that fight? This, my friends, was definitely staged. This had to be staged, almost as staged as the placings. I'm just kidding. It got everyone talking about it, and mission accomplished. People were making videos about it and posting pictures about it. The last thing I want to mention, then we're going to get right into the shots here, the poses of the competitors, was something that caught my eye out of this whole contest. Phil Heath's gut. Your Mr. Olympia, all you guys are on the Phil Heath bandwagon, all right? All you guys fans, I'm not hating, I'm just 
just saying everyone can notice this year that something was a little bit different about Phil Heath. His gut was just a little distended this year. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get right into the competitors. All right, the first competitor I'm going to bring to you is 16th place, Mr. Jojo Nitafaro. First up, listen, it, to get on the Olympia stage, you have to be the best of the best. It is one of the hardest things anybody can ever do. Hats off to this guy, but clearly you can see this guy's conditioning is off. He doesn't have as much mass as he should to take down the bigger guys in the contest. And that right calf, see something weird with that right calf? There's like veins all over this calf. It's got good aesthetics, very good balance. He seems very proportionate from this one shot. Overall, just a, a very good physique, just kind of lacking again, the conditioning and the size. We're gonna take a look at this guy's back. Another just glaring feature is this guy's soft from the back. His back's very blurry, it's very watery, it's not very conditioned, it's not very thick, it's not the widest back again. Don't get me wrong, very good shape. And again, what is up with that right calf? Obviously, you see, he's got very good obliques. The serratus is very good, very well developed, but it almost looks like a distended stomach to me. I don't, that's just me. It looks a little distended. Almost hard for me to see a six pack on his stomach. Uh, clearly, the leg development is not there. As far as Olympia quality is concerned, he lacks greatly in the teardrop area down there in his lower leg. And look at the calf. All right, it's making me uncomfortable. Last shot here. Here we clearly see this dude's lower quads aren't there. The thickness of his quads are not there. However, I will say this is JoJo's best shot. His lats look decent in here, great bicep peak. I think he executed the pose greatly, but again, he's gonna have to be more conditioned and just have a lot more size to him to go further up the rankings. All right, next up, we have Ibrahim Fahim. This guy actually got 16th place. He tied with your boy, Jojo. Now, you can instantly see that there's a major difference in mass. This dude has got a lot more mass than old boy Jojo. Tons of mass. One word that I can think of when I see this gentleman right here is full. He's full to the brim. Veins everywhere. He's just as, as much water and carbs as this dude's muscles can handle. They are literally at the limit. He has a really good amount of muscle. Legs, I mean the legs are huge. Don't get me wrong, I think the legs are really huge, but definitely not matching with the upper body. The legs have no separation. Um, his abs from this point look very watery. They're not dry and tight. Uh, not a very crisp ab shot right there. This next shot, his lats look sick. I mean, they're just flared out. Here you can definitely see there's not a ton of separation with this guy's legs. Again, his abs aren't crisp, but I mean, to be honest with you, he's got good ab muscle in general. They just aren't really dry. The waist actually looks kind of small right here. And for his size, his development, that's definitely a good thing to have. That's a very good achievement. Next is this man's rear lat spread. Now, he's he's probably got, size-wise, he's probably got one of the best rear lat spreads in the Mr. Olympia. It's perfect V. It's not very conditioned. It looks like he spilled over just a tad. Rear delts are completely popped out. Just a super, super good rear lat spread. Kind of reminds me of Big Rami's lat spread. Obviously, a lot smaller. If we can come in a little bit more detail, get those uh, those legs up to par come back next year with a little bit more mass this guy is actually gonna be pretty dangerous next year in the lineup if he makes it to the mr. Olympia of course all right in 15th place we've got fan favorite mr. William Bonnet this dude literally we are entering a brand new caliber of mr. Olympia contenders I'm not saying the 16th place dudes at time we're nothing I'm just saying this dude literally blows them away this guy, I don't know how old he is. I, hey, do me a favor, do me a favor. Find out how old this man is, put it in the comments so we can all see. Because if this dude is young, this guy's got a great future. He's got solid proportions, round muscle bellies. I mean, he's massive. Everything matches. Very proportionate to his lower body, his upper body. This guy's frame, it just holds his muscle perfect. He's going to be a major, major threat. Mark my words. Now, you're going to notice I'm going to use this term a lot. The word full because these guys are full in this Mr. Olympia. And I'm going to go later on. I'm going to kind of touch on how these guys get so full and, and what they do to get full like that. All right. Wheels look good. Big freaking massive wheels. All right. Now, check this out. We're going to move on to this pose right here. Big chest, striated shoulders. Actually, for his size and his roundness, striated shoulders are the big plus. They're not just big old just water balloons, right? You can can see old Bonac here, right? His lower half from the waist down, the legs just didn't match 
the top half. Not size-wise, conditioning-wise. They just didn't, they didn't, they didn't dry out like the top half. You're gonna see, there's not like just big cuts. There are obviously no cross striations here at all. They don't look as shredded as that top half. Next pose, check this out. Waist ever so blocky, to be honest with you, with smaller lats. I mean, great biceps, but you can definitely tell the lats just, they're not, they're not flaring out, which brings me to, just wait, I got a picture for this, right? Right here. Here's where I think homeboy got beat. I can see why he's a fan favorite, but with this back, check this back out, man. This back is just, it's not Mr. Olympia back. It's not gonna take down the big boys. It's not gonna take down Kai Green or Phil Heath anytime soon. It's just not wide enough. It's not big enough. It's not thick enough. This is definitely William Bonnack's worst shot. Now, moving on, if this dude can work on that back, come in tighter with a more crisp, detailed physique, dried out, not only the top half, but the bottom half too. Again, this guy's gonna be a sick major threat in the future.